This is Mark's moments on God and religion. So I was inspired to do this uh, second clip on, on God and religion. Some people just uh, weren't getting it, and I wanted to clarify a few points. Okay. It really fundamentally is about duality and singularity. We understand what things are because we have a perspective, a location upon which we gaze upon something. Truth, like reality and like beauty, is in the eye of the beholder. Now, let's take this iPhone, for example. It's shaped like this, okay? If it's got a different shape. If I look at it from this perspective, it's got a different shape. If I look at it from this perspective, it's got a different shape. Its shape, and thus its definition, are dependent upon my perspective where I look at it from. Terrorism, freedom fighters. Okay. Fighter. Blowing up a bus full of Israelis. Will be different depending upon where you look at it from. Some people will look at it and go, that is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. It's evil, it's wrong, it's bad. Another group of people, although smaller, might look at that and go, well done, that person was setting us free, their fingers. There's always two sides to every opinion. You know? One person always thinks they're right, the other person always thinks they're right. Who's objectively right? There is no objective right. It depends on your opinion and your perspective. To have a perspective, you need to have a location. And I see this shape. Someone else is here, they look at it and they see that shape. Do you get it? Good. Okay, it's very simple, isn't it? Yeah. Now, where is God? God is everywhere. So, does God see that? 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 God sees them all simultaneously. So what shape is this to God? If God sees them all simultaneously, there's no difference for God in seeing the opinions. So God can see the opinions of the people who think the terrorist act was disgusting and the opinions of people who think the terrorist act was a freedom fighter act. Actually, it was oppressing. It was freeing them from the oppressors. Yeah, you, are you getting what happens and what you perceive something to be is totally dependent on where you look at it from. Now, if God is everywhere, the one thing everywhere, God is all knowing. So God can see every perspective around the event. And if he can see every perspective, then what does he think about the event? Are you seeing? He can't think it's a disgusting act, it's a great act. Because in order to have one of those opinions, you have to exclude, put down, separate yourself from the other opinion. 